Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat Move Rest and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day. Sometimes I definitely feel like I need a refresh, a fully raw day. If you're like me and you're feeling like tomorrow I'll start, in order to hold yourself to it and to help yourself out, I recommend prepping ahead of time. So what I'm about to do is juice a big green juice and I just put a watermelon in the refrigerator. I might even chop some fresh fruits just to have as much ready, especially for the beginning of the day, so I can hit the ground running tomorrow morning. Good morning, you guys. So I cannot tell you how good it felt to lay in bed this morning knowing that my juice was ready to go in the refrigerator. So tip number one, if you guys go on a juicing journey or raw journey, always make sure you batch juice so you're not having to do it every single morning. So after I drink this, I'm gonna get my juices and my ginger shot out of the fridge get a little bit of fuel in my tummy, do a quick workout, and then we're gonna go to the beach. I'm gonna just grab basically a bunch of fruit and veg and we're gonna hit the road. So let's do this. So pretty, all the colors. With ginger shots, it tends to really settle. You really gotta mix it good. Okay, ginger lemon shots to get the day started. Raw vegan for the day. It's good. Oh wow, that is so good. Mm, it's so good. How is it? Good, fabulous. <laughs> Baby, show me Skipper. Yeah. Skipper pocket. She's in your pocket? Yeah. <laughs> show me a twirl. Can you spin around? Yeah. I cut these they were so moist that they kind of ended up like blending back together into one piece. Liv is actually snacking on them right now and she keeps saying crackers tasty mommy. <laughs> so either she's being super nice or she's actually enjoying my raw vegan imitation Brad's kale crackers. I'm excited. Yummy. Holy cow, you guys. This was like the first super ridiculously humid hot day of summer here in Florida. Just finished a leg day sweat session, completely fueled by green juice, and I'm happy to say I had enough energy, like more than enough energy, plenty of fuel. I just felt super nourished. It was just like solid. So now we're gonna do smoothie bowls and head to the beach. Okay, are you guys ready to see it? It looks so good. <laughs> Yay! These berry blends are my go-to. The kids always want the pink bubble gum bowl, but I just love the like dark, purpley color because I know it's super antioxidant rich. The cherries, the blueberries, it's all so good. And they're all in season right now. So this whole blender has over a thousand calories in it. I'll probably eat about half of it. Mommy. These raw dried mulberries are ridiculously high in iron. A lot of dried fruits are, but especially these black, black mulberries. And then hemp seeds for fats. Omega-3s, iron, protein, magnesium. I get this one, Mom. Mm -mm -mm. And then this, just for fun, freeze-dried strawberry powder. It's just so good. Mm -hmm. They're so soft and good.
kids fell asleep on the way home from the beach and there is nothing better than the effortless salty sandy beach wave look that being said i can never sleep on my hair like this because it's just so coarse and crunchy and dry so i'm going to do a deep conditioning scalp massage treatment and i'm just going to show you guys how i get that summer glow especially after being in the salt sun and sand so i don't go all in like this for a spa day at home very often but i like to do it after the beach when my skin is in extra need of a little tlc first thing is setting the mood with a little diffuser essential oils First thing I'm gonna do is my oil treatment that I found on Amazon. It's so refreshing and stimulating for the scalp. Kind of gives your scalp like a nice tingly cooling feel because it has rosemary in it, which is really great for stimulating blood flow, circulation, and new hair growth. It can help your hair to grow thicker and faster. So I'm just gonna get that in there so it can soak for as long as possible while I'm doing my skincare. So on my spa days, I like to focus on hair, skin, and nails. So now that I have my scalp oil treatment in, I'm gonna use a facial mask. So these are my two favorites from Osea. This is the black algae flash mask and the white algae mask. I'm gonna do the white algae mask today. And this I got on Amazon. I'm gonna scrub my feet with. While my face mask is sitting, I'm gonna go do my dry brushing outside. I am using my Osea dry brush. I love to do this it's a great way to stimulate circulation and blood flow it can reduce cellulite and help to just slough off dead skin cells it gets your lymphatic system draining properly it also helps your skin to better absorb the moisturizers that you apply afterwards and i'm also going to rinse off and i love 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 scrubbing down with osea's salts of the earth body scrub and i'm going to cleanse my face with my favorite i just got a new bottle of their ocean cleanser all of this is setting the stage for the most important part of my skincare routine which is moisturizing and hydration i love using my osea products in the shower because they never leave my skin feeling dry and dehydrated or flaky and they all work so synergistically together one osea product that i can't go a day without that gives my skin that nice dewy glow and literally smells like summer in a bottle is the andaria algae body oil oil. The Andaria seaweed replenishes the skin's moisture barrier and keeps skin looking healthy. It's clinically proven to instantly improve skin elasticity and deliver deep moisturization. Then I love to follow it up with my favorite summertime pick, the Andaria Collagen Body Lotion. The lotion is lightweight and instant absorbing and it delivers firmer skin in just four hours. It has amazing ingredients like hyaluronic acid, vegan collagen, peptide, and turmeric. Be sure to grab the Mega Moisture Duo, which contains these two favorites for only $84. It's a $100 value, plus you can use my 10% off discount code linked below in the description. Now I'm oiling my face and then I usually follow it with my quartz roller and sometimes my red light wand as well. Both of these tools help to stimulate blood flow and collagen production and minimize fine lines, wrinkles, and sunspots. Finishing off, I'm adding some castor oil to my lashes and brows. To finish off my fully raw vegan day of eating, I am about to chop a massive rainbow salad for dinner and incorporate some of our very own garden greens from our garden beds. I'm also super excited to say that I got to harvest my very first homegrown sweet potato that I sprouted myself from a sweet potato I bought at Whole Foods. It took over an entire garden bed and nothing feels better than getting dirt under your fingernails to harvest one of your favorite foods. Look at that. We got a sweet potato. Oh, darn it. I think I just got dirt in the forehead. Okay, I feel like it's like giving birth. Come on, one more push. Oh. oh, what a beauty. Look at that, you guys. This is so cool. This is like my most exciting harvest to date. 
So I'm obviously not going to bake a sweet potato on my fully raw day. We'll save that for another video, but I am going to try these new kelp noodles on top of my rainbow salad. So I'm starting with some curly kale, green leaf lettuce, and the romaine from our garden. Just tossing a whole bunch of different varieties of greens into my good old wooden salad bowl. This puppy is massive, so I've got a lot of chopping to do to fill this and in order to fill my tummy for dinner time. My favorite salad ingredients are cherry tomatoes, green onions, bell pepper, red cabbage, radishes, and usually I incorporate avocado. I typically like to whip it and add it as kind of a dressing and massage it into the greens, but I'm actually going to be dicing it and adding in a separate dressing tonight, mostly because on these fully raw days of eating, I tend to eat super high carb and low fat during the day, saving most of my fats for dinner time. So I also added some sauerkraut and I'm gonna blend a simple dressing of just tahini and coconut aminos. If you guys have watched my videos, you know I love coconut aminos. Tahini is an amazing source of omega-3s and protein and iron. Now it's time to drizzle it on top and I'm gonna add in those kelp noodles I mentioned and they're very high in minerals and they just give it a nice different kind of texture than most salads. So I really, really liked the way this salad turned out. I didn't think I was gonna be able to finish it honestly, but I definitely killed it. This was so life-giving, you guys. I can't say enough good things. This was such a great reminder of why we eat a high raw diet, and I highly recommend doing this at least once every change of seasons. You won't regret it. There are three things we all do every day, and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.